Hi, welcome to my channel, Don Yuboke, where you get to learn everything about analytics and automation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule a flow to run once without recurrence. So maybe you've noticed that there's no way you can automate a flow to run just once, you know, and it's on schedule. How, how do I mean by that? Here are three common type of flows that we have. The automated one is being triggered by an event that you don't have control over. You know, whenever that event takes place, then it gets triggered. We have this instant cloud flow where you have to click on the button and we have the schedule cloud flow where you set the time. Let us look at this case study and let's see which of these three uh, flow types address it. I'm a training consultant and I often train people on Power Automate. And in the past, after my training, I give them hard copy survey to fill just to assess you know, the impact of the training. But now I'm teaching automation, so I need to also, you know, be advanced with the way I interact with my candidate, uh, my, yeah, my student, of which I put my survey together in Microsoft Forms, and that makes sense. Okay, my data now can be collected uh, maybe after the class and not on hard copy again. The second thing there is that when you are planning for a training, you don't have all your resources, you don't start making plans for them the day you have the training. So you schedule them, you put your resources in place, the assessment, you have it ready, printed out, same way you should plan. And the plan should be that after the training, say later in the day, you get the questionnaire sent to them via email. And you don't need to go on that day to trigger anything. So number one, automated cloud flow cannot work in that instance. Number two, you don't want to trigger anything on that day. You want to schedule it before that time. So instant flow will not work because it's a button you have to press. Why should you go back and press? You should have been tired. Why should you not go and press a button to send a mail? Which is still the same thing as putting and composing your mail at that time. And the third one is the schedule flow will have worked. But unfortunately, schedule flow will be work, will repeat itself. So it can be scheduled to run at a particular time. And you have to set frequency. How frequent should it run? So that's the disadvantage there. Of course, we're still going to use the schedule flow for this um, video. However, I'm going to do a bit of tweak and I'll show you. So let us create a schedule flow. How to run a schedule flow once. That's why I'm, I'm going to save it. And I need it to run, say, three, 320 in the next less than 18 minutes that should be done. So 3.20, do we have 3.20 a.m.? Right, we don't have 3.20, we have 3.15, 3.30. Well, I have opportunity to change it later. So I'm then going to just put it maybe once in a day. Of course, the techniques will work even if it's once in a month, week, or whatever frequency you set. So I'm going to create now. And what do I want to do in my instance? I'm not sending link to student because just to demonstrate this i would rather tweet i want to post a tweet on my handle okay so i'm going to look for post a tweet so this is the first time it's going to ask you to sign in to your twitter account but for me i have signed in to my twitter account so this action card when i click on it now it's just going to show me ask me yeah for my tweet test and if i have any media to add I can just move on but for me I'm just going to put my tweet now this tweet is automatically posted from power automate and teaching Using it to teach how to yeah, run a scheduled flow once without recurrence. Let's have the how to let's have it here. Then I'm using team power platform. Power 
automate let's talk about automation and let's talk about yeah that's fine so i am done the next one we're going to do is to add another step but before you do that make sure you save your flow otherwise that step will not work it will not work because you won't be able to see the flow you won't be able to see the flow you are just creating which is the flow you really want to limit from running more than once and don't forget for the time we have 315 let when i'm done with this new step i'm then going to edit this so that i can set the date so i can tamper with this date all right so what you need to do now is to add a new step and call it and look for an action card call it turn off flow so you just we need to turn off the flow that's power automate and you see turn off flow let's look for turn off flow turn off flow so the turn off flow immediately it finish running your schedule flow, you're just going to turn it off and when your flow is off your flow cannot run either scheduled um instant or autom automated flow right so it's asking me which environment i'm currently on the in book environment and i'm going to select that environment then which of the flow this is why it is important that you save your flow before you come to this stage because otherwise it's not going to appear here right now i have how to run the schedule flow once then i'm going to save now that I've saved, I'm coming down to this recurrence. I need it to run, say, by 3.18. I should be able to, uh, sorry, yeah. So the time is having a bit of a plan. Um, that will let me open my Twitter. So let me just look for my Twitter. Do you invoke it? And I have it there. Right, so I'm just going to wait. Hopefully, and the next I'm going to refresh by. Okay, this is the last tweet I made 45 minutes ago. This is also an automated flow. In case you want to check that. I always check on my YouTube channel to see how to extract your year, month, day from any date in Power Automate. And I will advise, I will encourage you to please subscribe to my channel so that you can get to receive a lot when all these useful videos on automation, Power Automate, Power Platform, other forms of analytics, you know, are being released. Now it is 3.18. I think by my timing, I put the time zone is to 18. I can change it. When I refresh, I should be able to see this new tweet here. So now that here, so I'm going back to refresh to see. Here. Okay. I can see 40 milliseconds ago. So, okay, 33 seconds ago. So the tweet worked. So let's check again. Let me refresh. See, flow was successful. Oh, great. This tweet is automatically posted from Power Automate. I'm using it to teach how to run the schedule flow once without the currents. Okay. So, all right. Let's see if our flow get turned off. You know that way we can be sure that okay truly it we is going to run once and i don't have to bother myself coming back here okay okay so the flow is off you can see i have to click here to turn it on it's telling me there's a potential problem with this flow to see more details open flow checker so when i open flow checker it's telling me that this flow is off do you see that so meaning there's no way i can it can run okay i think that's taking effect now how to run a schedule flow once thank you for you know taking your time to see this video i hope it's very helpful and again remember you can always use it on different occasions 
This way you can run it, schedule it, and be sure that it's going to run once. Thank you and bye.